Hey everybody, it's Jay Shytown, and I uh, want to take you on a little journey on Google Earth. They have a lot of hidden secrets in plain sight. You just got to know how to play with Google Earth and and how to search and and uh, for the little secrets that they have hidden. So uh, I'm probably going to title this video The Edge of the Earth because there are images right here on Google Earth and they'll take you to the edge of the earth. You just gotta know how to search. So I asked myself, where could the edge of the earth be? Because geographically on the maps that they have, it is not showing uh, the, flat earth, the flat earth map where the ice is surrounding the whole earth, like a ring. They just have the North Pole or Antarctic so I'm gonna go to Antarctic, which I believe is is the the circle ring that that circles the Earth. They have it just as one big country, one big ice area. That doesn't, you know, that doesn't make sense. But so I'm on Google Earth. You see the magnify glass at the top. You click on that, and you type in Antarctic in your search, and the search criteria has come up like click on Antarctic right there and everybody knows it should take you there hold on All right, here we go so according to this globe image Antarctic is kind of south okay so it's usually just zooms in so I'm just gonna zoom in and I'm gonna show you how to use this street view one way to help me to keep my bearings on how to find these secrets is if you notice there is a see that white dot in the middle of Antarctic you don't see it let me zoom in for you looks crazy doesn't it looks like a UFO from Star Wars or Pac-Man but that's in the middle of the Antarctic I don't know if that's a glitch or what that is but I use that as kind of a marker and then if you look down here on the bottom left of the screen you have that red and white uh, compass if you click that it'll center it so that you know that you're going north, south, east, and west. So now what I'm going to do is click on the little people man right there. Right above 3D on the bottom left screen. And when you click on that. To get a street view. Everything's going to turn blue. So I'm backing out. Now if you look over to the east of that dot. Right over here. This is blue. So you can click on those images and go there. And I was more interested in the dots in the middle of the Antarctic. And see now, there's my spaceship there. I'm hitting my compass. Now this is how I'm going to find their little hiding spots here. As you notice, there's no blue dots around right now. You got to zoom in. Sometimes you gotta let it load up. They might have caught on to me. Hold on. There it is over here. All right. See that blue dot there? That's an image you can click on. But I want to. I want to go in closer. There's another one that's going to show up. There it is. See, now you see two blue dots, right? But if you continue to zoom in, they're going to start breaking apart. <clears throat> Notice that? So instead of having one dot, blue dot, now you got two and you keep going in 
And you can use your compass here to center it. Now I got three. I'm zooming in more. Four, five, six, seven. Look at that. These are all hidden, folks. All hidden on Google Earth. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you to the edge of the Earth. I'm going to click on the top dot right there. Here's the edge of the earth. And let me tell you something. These people got all kind of equipment out here. So they want you to think all the equipment is in space. Floating around satellites. Nope. Nope. It's all right here. It's on the edge of the earth. And it's a hard task getting out there. But you notice they got all kind of equipment out there. Look at that. They even have a station out there. There's other pictures of it. Look at that. What is that? In the middle of the Antarctic. I believe it's the edge of the earth. Oh, wow. Look at that. You tell me what that is and why is it in the middle of Antarctic? If it's just a... Wasteland. Why? What is this? You tell me. Okay. So if you notice the sun, how hazy it is. That's because it's old and they're at the edge of the earth. That's why it fades out in the distance. It's so dense. You're getting near the end. And it's so f cold and frozen out there. And then if you look in the sky here, I saw some stars, maybe in the other dots. But what is this? Okay, they call it probably a, a some type of station out there, Antarctic station. This is the edge of the earth. You can't tell me nothing. All right. Not convinced? Let's go out. Click on that little man again. Now we got our dots. Let's go to another dot. Let's go to this one on the top here. Why do they have all this equipment out here? What is that? All kind of dishes? in the middle of nowhere so they had to fly equipment out there to build this because you can't get no boat out there everything is frozen if you notice they have every flag of the nations out there and the other dots that I'll click on you'll see that all all countries have been out here that, so they know the secret this is in the middle this is at the edge of the earth y'all okay you just gotta use your common sense and use their own uh, tools and equipment they just not gonna put it out there in public for you alright let's go out let's, let's center it and we're going to hit the little people again. Let's go into the cluster of dots. Let's see what we see there. So this looks like inside of uh, one of their stations. I'm not interested in this. I'm sure there could be some evidence. If I took some time to look through, I got images of something. Wow. <laughs> Optical follow up.
Wow. I'm blown away. Probably if we dig around, we can probably put this puzzle together, what they're looking at, building some type of equipment out there. It was uh, it was nuclear, modular radiation, see that? Incoming radiation, so some type of power plant in the middle of Antarctic, right? See that? So it looked like it could be some type of, uh, what do you call that, uh, energy, solar energy? See, mirror, see the mirror there? Light from primary mirror, so, wow. That's a telescope overview. So that may be their telescope there. The South Pole Telescope, SPT. So I'll probably do some research on that and there's the design of it. All right, let's get out of there. So this is how you put puzzles together that they're not going to tell you about. You got to do your own research and your own exploration. This is in the South Pole, supposedly. Why are they out here with all this equipment? There was one that I saw, and it was some type of... Uh, billboard that said that they have conquered or they have reached their destination it was like in 1921 see all those flags so that looks like that might be that radiation core and this might be the telescope so at night time, nighttime, they can probably see everything in the uh, up in the dome area. Let's go out farther here. So you know, wow! Look at these images coming in. I mean, it's so vast. Wait here while crossing beacon is flashing. Now here's the flags I was telling you about. There's that plant or that colony that they have out there. But as you see, it is so vast out here. Look at that. If you go out there, you probably will get to the edge. It's so cold. All right, folks. So I'm going to sign out and probably gonna do another video after I investigate further my discoveries here look at this stuff here man this is where the money's going not NASA it's going now here to the edge of the earth it's going out here to the edge of the earth
So my conclusion is they're having us focus on space expo explorations, but it's actually intergalactic. It's within the dome. This is millions, if not billions of dollars of equipment and how to get out there. And then again, it's in the middle of the Antarctic. You tell me. I'm still zooming out. Jay Shark Town. I'm out.